while some 90 Day Fiancé franchise stars found their happily ever after, others are struggling with bitter custody battles. In the past, many couples in the franchise have been successful in settling into marriage and expanding their family. For instance, Lauren and Alexei Bravarnik recently welcomed their third child on their spin-off, Lauren Alexei, after the 90 days. The original stars from 90 Day Fiancé Season 1, Russ and Paula Mayfield, had several ups and downs throughout their marriage, but continue to find a way to rebuild their connection for the sake of their family and son, Axel. Other couples, like 90 Day Fiancé star Emily Bieberly and Kobe Blaze, have also shared a similar fate, as they recently welcomed their second child together. However, not all couples had the same luck. Unfortunately, some 90 Day Fiancé stars built a family, but are separated and now entangled in a messy custody battle. In some cases, the split was inevitable, but with kids involved, the situation escalated. Here are the couples fighting for their children. 90 Day Fiancé's Kareen Paul Stale lost custody of their sons There's no doubt that Paul and Kareen have been a chaotic duo from the beginning of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. Between Paul's lack of trust and the couple's language barrier, their relationship was clearly headed toward divorce. However, just before officially calling it quits, Paul and Corrine welcomed their two beautiful sons in the world, Pierre and Ethan. They filed for divorce, but their relationship continued to spiral out of control, and their children were placed in foster care. Paul and Corrine's boys are doing well, and both parents are still trying to gain custody of their sons back. 90 Day Fiancé's Memphis Sandoval Hamza Mokani fight over their daughter 90 Day Fiancé star Memphis Sandoval met Hamza Mokani online and communicated with him for less than a year before accepting his virtual proposal. The plan was for Memphis to fly to Tunisia to see Hamza, where the couple would marry and have their honeymoon right after meeting each other for the first time. On their honeymoon, the newlyweds learned they were expecting their first child together. The couple appeared together for the 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Day Season 5 Tell All, but Memphis left early. Shortly after, Memphis and Hamza announced their split and turned to social media to reveal the details of their divorce and custody battle. 90 Day Fiancé's Tariq Myers Hazel Kagaliton fight for her son Harry Tariq Myers and Hazel Kagaliton met on an online dating website. The couple dated for three months when Tariq decided it was time to fly to the Philippines and propose. The duo appeared on 90 Day Fiancé Season 8, but they struggled with trust issues and deciding whether to include another woman in their relationship. Nonetheless, Hazel has a son, Harry, from a previous relationship. Unfortunately, Harry's father changed his mind about letting Harry live in the U. S. Currently, Tariq and Hazel are currently working with Tariq's friend who is a lawyer to gain custody of Hazel's son. 90 Day Fiancé's Devin Clegg Jihoon Lee argue over their son Devin Clegg and Jihoon Lee met on a dating app. On 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 1, Jihoon flew to Utah, where the couple quickly learned that Devin was pregnant with their son, Young. Devin earned his family's approval to get married, but she couldn't embrace the culture change and the lies from her spouse. Devin returned to America and filed for divorce, while claiming Jihoon made no attempts to see his son. 
Ji-hoon later resurfaced, and announced that he did care before asking for donations to pay for lawyers. Since then, Taeyang has been diagnosed with B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and 90 Day Fiancé star Devon welcomed her third child.